Hallelujah, hallelujah. Join me as we worship our God. Come and reign. Holy Spirit, pray. We welcome you to come and reign. Come and reign. Holy Spirit, reign. Father, welcome you. So come and drink, come and take control, take control. Holy Spirit, reign. Lord, I welcome you to take control. Come and reign, Holy Spirit, reign. Father, I welcome you. To come and reign. Heavenly Father, we thank you, bless you. I lift you high and higher, King of Glory. You alone deserves my worship. You alone deserves my praise, King of Glory. Father, Lord, I lift you high and higher, Lord. Receive my praise, receive my worship, Lord, and to each and everybody, King of Glory, that is watching me, that is listening, King of Glory. Father, may you reign and be a blessing in each and everybody's life, Heavenly Father, King of Glory. I invite you to come and take charge. May you be the one to use my mouth to speak. May I disappear and may you appear king of glory receive the glory speak that that you want us to hear king of glory use my mouth for i am ready to be used thank you holy spirit thank you king of glory i praise you and i worship you okay praise god you who is watching me i believe god has kept your will and we thank him for that it's not it's not a must that we should wake up alive no but it's just the grace of God, and we are grateful for that. Each and everybody should be grateful for the gift of another day. You being alive for another day. We thank God for that. Okay, today, uh, it's been a while, in fact, many, many years since I've ever shared like this. I always share to myself in a mirror. When I look at myself in a mirror and I share to myself. I don't know if there is anyone who does that at the same time as well. I mean, who does the same thing like I do? I look at I look at myself in the mirror and I keep on sharing to myself. I speak to my image, whatever message I receive in my heart. But they have decided to put it on record so that I can share it with those that may be good ones. Okay, what I'm going to talk about today is entitled, like, a kit of fruitfulness. There are many keys to that, but I'm going to speak about one specifically, and that's why I'm saying a key to fruitfulness. One of the keys, okay, we can't say one of the keys to fruitfulness. Let us read the Bible verse. Let's start by that. A Bible verse from where? From Genesis 8, 22. It says, I'm reading Good News Bible, but then I prefer the King New King James Version, though it's on my phone, so I will bear with this. I'll read this. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Yeah, that's right. As long as day and night are. And if you believe that, same way, harvest, and I mean seed time and harvest time, shall never, never, never depart from. Like, they will always be there. There is always a seed, seeding time and harvest time. Before we go any further, I want us to note down this, some of these statements. And with time, I don't know, you will catch up. You will know why I'm giving them to you through the, all the, the stuff we're going to share, maybe. Yeah. Just because you can't see, just because you can't see, that is one. Just because you can't see it, it doesn't mean it isn't there. Okay? Then second, you move at the pace of your revelation. Therefore, revelation equals to access. Together. The moment you see it, you move into it. How many are those? Those are four. I think I want to give you like five. You can't move into, into what you can't see. You understand? You can't move into what you can't see. And, yeah, that's right. You can't move into what you can't see because you need to see before you move into there. 
Okay. You can only live from what you know. What has been revealed is what you can live into. Okay? I think those are enough. But then I want you to know that if, if at all we knew what our spirits know, hmm, we would live very differently. If at all, I personally, if at all I knew what my spirit knew, I would be in a, a different, like I would live so differently. Now let's go back to our Genesis, the, the where I want, I want us to go. I want, I wanted that to share. That, that is Genesis 22, I mean 8.22. God is calling us into our seasons of fruitfulness in the things that he has already prepared us i mean prepared for us those things are in seed form and they are known by the spirits they are known by our spirits the word of a seed the seed is the word of god and when the word of god comes into your spirit the word of god is spirit and when it comes to your spirit it's communicating to your spirit the results that come out of that, when the Spirit communicates with your spirit, when the, the Spirit of the Lord communicates, communicates with your spirit, the result will be the strange, like, it will be the, the unusual strange results. That is the spiritual results. There will be spiritual results. So, there will be spiritual results. Because, I mean, when the Spirit gets to the Spirit, definitely the result will be spiritual. Let me give you an example. Let, let, imagine, imagine we had a big land, or like we had, we had a big garden. You're given a big garden. Some of you have big gardens. Imagine you, like, now you wake up one day and then you're like, I want to go and plant. I want to go and seed. All right? You want to go and plant something. Let's say beans. You have a big maybe acres and acres or maybe one acre and then you wake up you get your five beans one two three four five five bean seeds you take into that land and you uh, you plant them remember the land is so big how much harvest are you gonna get like how much do you expect to get from that from the five seeds you planted because yeah as the bible has stated there is a time for seeding and harvest time. Definitely you have an harvest, but how much are you gonna have? How how much are you going to harvest? How much are you going to harvest from the five seeds of beans? <laughs> I don't know what your answer is, but my spirit but in me I've gotten an answer like maybe some 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 some. But remember, even in the process, the weeds are going to accumulate. They're going to come in the garden and everything. But imagine if the garden is covered with weeds. All over, all over and then there are five or seven or twenty beans coming out the the weeds are going to cover it out all and your harvest is gonna be little little it's the same thing some of us listen to someone's on only sunday services sunday services you listen to a preacher one time that is once in a week or even you're distracted in that session but then you'll be living for an harvest that that preacher is talking about the preacher who's pain so my dear what determines the amount the capacity of your harvest is the amount of seed the amount of seed matters you do not have to listen to only once the word of god on sunday keep on listening you don't know you don't know when the result is going to come out. You listen once, but then you're expecting to get the harvest of a preacher that is listening, who has sought God, who, has, who is listening to someone is maybe weekly, I mean uh, daily. And then you listen to that to the preacher only once, to the sermon once, and you expect to harvest the same harvest like the other person who listens to the sermon each and every day, each and every, like, lunch hours he listens to the lunch hours when there is evening services he listens to them he listens to the preachers online he listens to he reads the bible by herself or himself and you admire that person the results the spiritual results that are in that person you keep on admiring that person but you do not take the initiative to to also seek god in the same way you may not we all seek god differently you know 
I'm not saying we we all supposed to seek God in the same way, but your spirit needs to hunger for like your spirit needs to thirst for the word of God because that is the only way. That is the only way. The good things that the the the, the fruitfulness of uh, we expect to get from God. That is how we are going to access that. All right. That's the <laughs> oh yes. The harvest might be big. The harvest will, but just know that your harvest will be in proportion with the seed you sowed. It will be much more than the seed, but it will be in proportion with the seed you sowed. If you harvest two minutes, three minutes in seeking and knowing the word of God, then definitely the spirit of the the spirit of God will reveal itself to you in proportion to what the amount of time you put in and i'm not talking about only that this is going further than that as we shall go on and on with this ceremony okay here i wrote let me read this to have we all most of us the safety people all the safety people desire desire to live a life of christ we all want to be like jesus but <laughs> To have the results of Jesus, oh, we all, in fact, all ministers desire, all ministers desire to do whatever Jesus did, to perform miracles. We perform miracles in his name, yes, that authority was given to us, and it happens. We all desire to do how God lived, how Jesus lived. But to have the results of Jesus, we must first, we must first plant, we must first plant the Jesus seed. Jesus said, we must first plant the Jesus kind of said. By the way, Jesus Jesus started preaching at the age of twelve, from what the Bible says, from the, what the scriptures say. That's why he had to harvest all that we desire. But for us, we put in little time, and we expect to perform the miracles he did. Yes, he paid the price for us. That is true. But we need, and we ought to seek, to know the word of God ultimately. For him to come down and show his power like he used to do because he that the he's capable of doing the same things that he used to do through us he gave us that authority but because our vessels are closed they are closed they are filled up and piled up with world stuff world stuff we think so much about the world stuff and now the thing i want us to talk about the key this is the key, the hidden key to fruitfulness, one of the keys. It's hearing. Hearing. Let us read. Let us read what? Uh, Romans. What? what is it? Romans. Romans 10, 17. Romans is in the New Testament. Romans 10. It says. It says. <clears throat> so then faith comes by hearing and hear by and hearing by the word of God. That's what the Bible says in Romans ten seventeen. You've got to hear the word of God. In order for you to have that faith that you will achieve whatever you're praying for, whatever you're you you're yearning for, you need to hear the word of God. You need your ears to hear. In Mark, in Mark, in Mark 4.13, I wrote Mark 4.13. Let's read also Mark 4.13. It says, Jesus said unto them, Don't you understand this parable? How then will you understand any parable? Jesus was wondering, if you can't understand this small concept, how then we understand the rest of the concept in the Bible? If you can't do like this parable, the small one that he was telling them, how then will you understand the other one? That faith comes by hearing. Uh, someone is coming to distract me. That's my baby coming in. But then let's ignore her. Okay, mama. Yeah. As I was saying, in other words, like as I was saying, Jesus was just telling them if they can't understand the principle of the word of God, the Bible will be closed to you. 
to a certain level there are many things you will not understand if you can't he was trying to tell us that if we can't understand the concept of the word of god then that we will not understand anything from the bible to a certain level and with that it means you have to give in and give in listen to the preaching listen listen and listen and listen now you see as i'm speaking right now all of us we are hearing this different stuff we are hearing different stuff someone is hearing something else from what i'm saying another one is perceiving what exactly i i want everyone to understand another one is hearing something else we all have ears but we all perceive differently you hear differently and it's a matter of what how many times you listen to so tomorrow you hear preacher preaching today you hear something and then you again rewatch that preaching again you will get another thing the more meaning the more the more you listen and the, the more you hear is the more you will hear and does that make sense the more you hear the more you hear the more you hear the more you will hear okay you know i'm sorry about that i mean the more you listen to something is the more you will get to understand that thing so the more you read by the way reading is god but the bible does not state that faith comes by reading or studying it states it clearly faith comes by hearing and hearing hearing the word of god the more you hear the more you understand the more you will get that revelation you will get that is when you hear that here wrote that, that that's not sorry okay many will read it like many will read it like faith comes about about romans 10 17 some of us read it like faith comes by hearing the word of god but that isn't how it states it the bible states, states it very clearly read your bible very well and you understand what the word says <laughs> and faith does not come like that your your hearing affects your faith what you perceive what you hear is what your faith will be like that's how your faith will be if you be there and listen to to rumors rumors hey this this and this say this and this and this your faith will go in that that is what your ear desires to <laughs> how does faith come faith comes by hearing and how does hearing come hearing comes from by hearing the word of god hearing the word of god let me give you an example for instance me i'm a Muganda, i'm a ugandan i'm a ugandan and i know to speak my local language i didn't go to any school to learn that language but as i was born in the environment where i grew up from the language they speak through um most most of the time is the language that child will pick even if you give birth right now to a child in africa say uganda and you take that child to france just give that baby as when she starts to speak she will be speaking french why because she's in that environment where french is spoken she doesn't need to go to school to learn it no hearing how she gets to know it only God knows, but it's about hearing. The more you hear something, is the more you perceive what it, what it, like you will learn. You, the more you will understand it, the more you hear it. Hearing matters. The amount of hearing matters. So what you hear matters. So my dear, I want you to know that there is a language in the spirit, and the language you know is an advantage in the realm you operate through. You operate in you as a child of God we are supposed to operate in the spiritual realm and the only language that operates in that realm is the spiritual language how you but how you get the spiritual language it's you hearing the Word of God you knowing the principles of the Word of God you understanding what the Word of God tells you you studying the Word of God you seeking the Word of God and the only way to to know that is you reading it 
or you listening to the sermons. God gave us good shepherds. Ah, there was that. I don't want to quote a wrong scripture for you guys. <laughs> and you'll be like, Sister Violet gave us wrong scriptures. <laughs> but I know he is there. It says how God gave us good shepherds. Shepherds to, 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 oh God, I'll read, I'll read. I don't know why I said, but it says, God give, gives us, gives us shepherds after his own heart to, oh God, what is it? To, to get, like, God gives us his shepherds after his own heart to feed us with wisdom and understanding, something like that. Yeah, I will look for it. I will look for it and I will find it. Then I will return and I give it to you. But yeah, something like that. So, li so listen to them. And back to the spiritual language. I mean, back to the language. Like, like I gave you an example. A child is not taught a language she knows best or he knows best when he's growing up. It's a matter of hearing, more hearing. The more she grows and hears that language, the more she gets to learn it. It doesn't need, she doesn't, he or she doesn't need to be taught that particular language. You transact in that area where that language is efficient. So you know in your Uganda, hmm? and go to, 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 to where, let me say, to German, where they speak only German. It's not going to be an advantage to you. Simple. Simply because that language does not operate over there. Okay? It doesn't operate there. <laughs> you have to know German in order for you to, to have an advantage. So you're not at... So, listen. Language is learned by hearing and hearing it over and over. Hearing it and hearing it over. Because if it was to be taught... You, you you are witness. We all learned languages in our schools, like French. They taught us French, Kiswahili, what, blah, blah, blah. But then, if you're taken to, to France, <laughs> me, I personally can't last for three minutes speaking what I learned in school about French in France. But, 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 but if I'm to stay in France for four months or five, if I'm a slow learner, but I'm not a slow learner, I can learn faster than what they taught me in school. Meaning, I hear and hear because I'm going to be in the system. I'm going to hear and hear. It's the same thing, child of God. You were once in that realm, the spiritual realm, where you could burn for God, like you could pray and you hear things shifting spiritually. You could. And then the fire in you became cold. You put your guards down and the devil dominated maybe somehow we be aiming to gain sin, maybe one bar stuff came in and took over somehow now you're trying to get arise you're not just not you're no longer burning like you used to burn for the word of god and you're praying things are not shifting the way they used to simply because the rim you went you are in right now is not the same rim you were last time when you were burning for god so wake up child of hey wake up have faith have faith in the spiritual realm we operate with faith. Faith is, a, faith, faith is a currency in the spiritual realm. So you need to have faith. You have to have faith in the word of God. The Bible says, the Bible says, uh, by grace we were saved through faith. So faith receives what is given by grace. Okay, the more you hear, the more you understand in the spirit, the more you transact in the spirit, the more you hear is the more you understand in the spirit, the more you try, and the, that is the more you transact in the spirit. The, ham, the amount of hearing matters, and what you hear matters as well. Open Isaiah 54. I mean, Isaiah 50, verses 4. I say 54. Isaiah 50, verses 4. What does it say? What is verses 4? Okay. The Lord has given me an instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the will, the way that he, he wakens me morning by morning, 
He wakens my ear to listen like one being told. The good that New King James says a land ear. Calls it a land ear. And I love that. So a land tank is a result of a land ear. Pray. Let us all pray. Me and you. We need to pray. God to give us a land ear. For all of us to have land ears. Because we cannot um a land tank, you can you cannot you can't say what you haven't heard. In order for you to have a land tongue, a told tongue, to speak what means, what is possible, what means something, you need to hear it. So once you don't have a land A, you will never have a land tongue. That is what Isaiah 50 verses 4 teaches us. You can't command your ear what you haven't heard. I mean, you can't command what you haven't heard, whatever I say. You can't command what you haven't heard. For instance, if you want to say, I declare and decree that I'm going to have this and this, it needs to be first communicated in your heart, like in your spiritual ear. So your ears have to be learned. They have to be taught the, the things of the spirit in order for you to profess it with your tongue. And that is the only way you get the fruitfulness of the word of God. You hearing, your hearing matters. So hearing is one of the keys to fruitfulness. What you hear matters. Okay, lastly, as I wind up, I want to say this. Hearing is private, but the fruit that comes out of it is public. Seek the word of God. Hear. Listen to the preachings. Hear what the Lord is telling you to do. Do what God is asking you to do. And my dear, sit back and relax. Wait for the fruit to blossom out. Out of what you have done. Because first of all, you're obeying what God is saying. You're doing his word. You're listening to his word. You know, there is no way you're not going to be fruitful. And that, like, hearing is private, but uh, the fruit is public because everyone will get to witness the fruitfulness that you will have achieved from whatever you're going to hear God tell you to do. And then lastly, I want you to know that there is no shortcut to fruitfulness. Just keep on hearing. Hear and hear. Because the more you hear is the more you hear. The more you hear the word of God is the more you get to understand it and is the more you're going to implement it and do is the more you're going to have faith in it that it works for you. So the key to fruitfulness, one of it is you hearing. And uh, you hearing the word of God. Keep on hearing. Hear the word of God. The more you hear is the more you get to understand it. Just like you hear your language, the way you, you were given birth to and you learned that language without being taken to school, you learn to Luganda, you can speak it well. You find someone from the north knowing Luganda. Why? Because he has stayed so much long in Uganda, around the people that speak Luganda, and he needed no one to teach him. He got to learn just by hearing. He heard and heard and heard. It's the same way, keep on listening to someone, keep on learning what the word of God tells you to do, and definitely you will see the fruitfulness in from it because your faith will devolve your faith will grow and we shall live to sit witness the fruitfulness that will be upon your life bless you bless you I thank God for this word and I believe that God has blessed someone even if it is one person that is going to hear something that makes sense from whatever I have said I bless the name of God for that bless you and yeah Shalom. Bye.